one thing that is a bit, little more complex and requires the SWS extension tool. You can get it from here. I will link it in the description as well. Is if you want to make a time selection and write all the parameters for that time selection, then you have to get a cycle action like I did. So for that, you go to the extensions uh, menu and go for the action cycle action editor. Here you can see I set up one cycle action, which consists of all these action steps. You can get the command IDs from the action window by clicking the question mark on your keyboard. And then the command IDs will show up here. So you can build your own cycle action. What I did is when I activate the cycle action, have to click on my Reaper project for that, then I can activate a global automation override. All my automation lanes are in ledge preview mode. I want to select all the tracks and arm all active envelopes for the selected tracks to be sure to override all existing automation lanes. Then I want to unselect all tracks again so that I don't have a mess here. This step here indicates that I have to activate my cycle action again to get a different result this time. This time my automation will be written to my timeline here for the time selection and then the global automation override will be set to no override and I can just continue to be in the automation mode that I have set here in the tracks. For instance, if I set this to read, activate my cycle action and deactivate my cycle action, this is in read again. So this is a nice little tool that I use so that I can write all my static automation within one scene. For instance, if I mix an audio play, I would select the whole scene and write and position my atmospheres within the scene and perhaps some sound effects that are not moving. I will just select them, position them in, in my space and then hit my cycle action again to write them permanently. After that, for moving objects, I can still write automation independently. So how did I set this up? If you look at the left side here and right click, you can add a cycle action. This is what I did. I renamed this so that I can find it later. The command IDs can just search for in the actions window here. If you right click here, you can add a command ID for instance, for 2022, and Reaper will automatically fill in the respecting action. Delete that for now. This step is also insertable, add step, and then this indicates that you have your, to activate your cycle action again to make a different set of changes. What I like to do as well is key bind this psyche action. So I search for my psyche action here. This is my psyche action and I put that on my letter P on my keyboard. You can put that wherever you want to.